an author friend posted a happy Sunday, what are you doing post, and I was amused to talk about two church services that I was going to with writing before and in between them. Heck, probably after two. So, I just finished my Masturbation Monday writing as I listened to a speaker. Yep, I'm a Unitarian Universalist, not a follower of one of the Abrahamic religions that preaches separation of body and spirit. While I've been thinking about my UU characters, my first preoccupation has been what my dominant, switch, and submissive characters might or might not do. That's been hard in the Gates of the Garden book to rewrite in the past few days. What you give up and what you take are such things to consider. Sometimes I wish for the simplicity of a total power exchange, both in my flesh and blood life as well as Vala's story. I hope by the time this is up, I will also have put up the book review of Total Power Exchange. 20 Years Later, by Candace Blevins, on my website. Candace's lovely, hardcore BDSM met with many oohs and ahs from me, even with it being a cishet book. That's a pretty achievement Candace managed. But then she wrote a novella focused on a couple. She didn't have to wrangle the cast of characters I have. That may say something for my sanity. As I finish the script, I'm working to redo my nail wraps. I found that wearing wraps keeps me from engaging in stimming by picking at my nails until I hurt myself. My nails are one of those things that I haven't really negotiated with my master. He prefers I do things that I know I need to, and doing my nails is one of those things. In its way, my nails really are an example of how my master's needs and my desires needs mesh. His cries of, I'm just a man, I don't notice these things, irritate me. I wish he would have an opinion, an instruction. The last thing I debated in Gates was, would Iona ask to get Vala's ears pierced, rather than doing it impulsively and getting punished, which is what I have in the original storyline. Thankfully, this morning, I settled into something that wasn't so much dependent on balances and BDSM as a change in who was present and where. I'm wanting to keep this from being a rambling blog or vlog, but it seems my mind is laying too many paths tonight as usual. I'm excited at the idea of making my UU Lent project into a book, first for two of my ministers and then a PDF to somehow fundraise for various UU causes dear to me. The idea of calling my Vala story characters my virtual family came to me during those 47 days of writing. Yeah, I don't know how we got to 47 instead of 40, but we did. I have so much going on in my head as far as what project I want to do next. Once I finish Gates of the Garden Book 2 rewrite, and it's in the hands of my beta readers, I'm unsure of what's next. And I have so many, too many, next to pick from. Of course, there's the Vala story-related spin-off dealing with deaf gain, but there's also the story with Akoda, a child of deaf adults that I want to develop more before September and Deaf Awareness Month. I also have this interesting age play focused book, a second book in a planned trilogy. Jack and Laura are the main characters, and I'm stretching myself by writing cisgender, heterosexual, monogamous people experimenting with BDSM together. Heh, <laughs> I don't remember experimenting with BDSM. That happened long ago for me. And my cat, Donut, the previously feral cat, does not care that I'm trying to work, so I'll call this done and go get some food. Please do subscribe. I'm trying to post things more frequently, regularly. 
Links for things like my Patreon to my website will be in the comments. And May 1st does have a blog post from me for National Masturbation Month for the Masturbation Monday blog hop. You can win a sex toy, if you're over 18 that is.